Hello everyone, uh, today I'd like to talk about body image. Now this is a thing that, generally speaking, uh, afflicts females a lot most of the time. However, males are also a part of this. Now when I say most of the time, I just mean that uh, females are affected in a negative way because of uh, what is demanded of them in society. Now society constantly demands that we adhere to a certain body image of ourselves and try to live up to the body image that is ascribed. Now, we as human beings have a variety of different body types, uh, metabolisms, um, facial bone structure, skin color, all these different things. And the more that we engage with what other people want from us, the more we feel the need to be other than we are. Now, what society wants from us a lot of the time is basically whatever the ideal body type of that society is. Um, a lot of times, the images portrayed are blonde hair, blue eye, really skinny for women uh, in the United States. And um, there are other body expectations around the world. But uh, this also affects men as far as having big arms, having a big chest, having a six pack. Uh, having a really strong jawline, things like that, uh, having a certain hairstyle. And um, you, we've seen in recent decades the, uh, the, the shift away from what it has been for uh, hundreds of years. And um, this just shows how uh, petty uh, culture, and, culture and expectation in society can be, uh, demanding things of people that have no re real reason to... Uh, to be the uh, the body type that one should aspire to. Um, the healthy body type is different from the really skinny body type expected of women a lot of the time. And um, it's especially hard when somebody who's looking for a partner in life, uh, a wife, a husband, whatever, uh, feels the need to portray themselves as what they're shown on TV, whether it be art, music, uh, anything in the world and uh, certain even clothing lines that only make certain sizes because they expect you to be that size. And a lot of those clothing lines uh, are, are top dollar. Uh, and to be human is so much more than body type. To be human is so much more than how you look. Even if you overeat and you're, I guess you could say fat as a result, um, that doesn't make you less valuable than somebody who's skinny. And a lot of the time in society that's an assumed value. That's a value that, that comes about uh, that comes about as an expectation for you as an individual, which basically has no grounds in, uh, in, in justice, in reality, in, um, in virtue, and uh, in strength or ability, most certainly, or to rear a family. Uh, just because you have, if you're a chicken, just because you have bigger, bigger boobs, that doesn't mean that you're able to be a better mother. But, uh, and that, that's more instinctual. We, uh, we have certain instincts that work against, um, us looking for a partner based on uh, more uh, valuable qualities like mental qualities, compassion, kindness, it doesn't always mean intelligence. Uh, compassion and kindness is something that you choose, uh, the, the desire to try harder uh, in a relationship uh, for your children or um, basically in society as an individual. Uh, those things are much more valuable, the things that you choose than um, expectations uh, by society of what you should be and a lot of the time not even able to choose just how you were born is uh, how you were born and that's that's completely fine but uh, a lot of the time it might not feel that way and um, this is kind of a video based on what I've heard from some female friends in the past and uh, a couple males but uh, mainly female friends, just from my experience. But uh, that doesn't mean that's something that only afflicts females. Though it seems to be the focus in our society, it seems to be. Um, for males, the expectations are a little different. Uh, it's not necessarily as uh, strict on being thin and, and uh, muscular or having certain manicured uh, facial skin tones, things like that. <laughs> Discolorations in the face is what I mean. But... Um, this is, this is something that humanity as a whole isn't going to get past for a very long time. Um, people are still going to resort to this basic understanding of beauty and value uh, for individuals. But the more we learn about what is truly healthy, uh, the more we learn about how shallow the fashion industry is a lot of the time, or the fitness industry is a lot of the time, the more that we start to realize that we are more than that, we are beyond. We are beyond these expectations that society places on us, and it's very important 
that we continue to work beyond them and start to value the, tr the truly uh, value, valuable things within man, within women and men, within humanity at large, whatever you classify yourself as, as far as gender or uh, gender identity. Um, we, we go so much deeper than, uh, than the skin, than, the, than fat, than, um, than facial bone structure. Uh, and the true value of a human life is, is all about what you choose to be. Um, you, you may not be born with the highest intelligence, but trying to be a good person, trying in, uh, in the realms in which intelligence would help you, uh, is, is far more valuable than somebody who's just born intelligent or born beautiful. So you actually have to try, and that makes you into an individual uh, that, is, uh, that is worked towards and not just given everything from birth. And, and that is beauty to me. But uh, I just wanted to go on a quick rant about, you know, uh, societal expectations on, uh, on beauty and f fashion and uh, what you should look like. Uh, and I'll probably talk more about this in the future. But for right now, I'm going to leave it there. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to comment and like. And uh, I will talk to you very soon.